Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So like I promised, I'm going to bring you guys another video. A video of me going through this back cabinet. I haven't gone through these toys for a couple of years. So I have some special weapons with me today to combat this video. A duster, because it hasn't been dusted in so long. So I need to get around to doing that. At the same time, I'm going to bring you guys on the journey with me. I'm not going to show you how to dust, because uh, most of us should already know that. Or some of us might not even touch our collections for so long. We're not even too sure what one of these are. But I'm going to attempt to dust one bookshelf full of toys today. Uh, and while I'm doing it, I'll bring you through some of the toys that are there in the background. And a, a little bit around some of the story as well of how I got them. Or I might just be too fanning out and everything and trying to rearrange all the... Uh, bookshelf at the same time so yeah let's get on with it hope you enjoy let's get it on all right so let's get started so firstly bender i remember getting this from forbidden planet quite a few years ago now but yeah i love future armor not opened it still got oh i was gonna say i haven't opened it but the sellotape's definitely been cut but i've never opened it uh yeah he's just in there since the day i got him but really yeah really like that toy over there my love of future armor you can start to see we're getting to some bits and pieces now as well so yeah ah oh, who oh whoa 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 who doesn't love the ninja turtles uh so yeah jesus this is my first and one of my only i think i've got about three or four different graded toys but the rest are in the loft this is the only one i've got down here so yeah 1988 playmates teenage mutant ninja turtle series one 10 back so yeah Look at the art as well. Love to get the other three at some time. Uh, who's this? Oh, there you go, Jurassic Park. A little bit bent on the card. Uh, it looks like it's coming a little bit open there as well. Oh, it looks like it's a little bit open all the way down, so it's starting to come away from the card. Uh, but yeah, I picked this up at Sandan, and I think I think they only wanted like six pound for it, so I picked it up. At the time, this is going back about a year ago now as well, but yeah, picked that up. It's happy with that. I think you guys might have seen some of these already. So we've got here a little ET, LJN ET. Got to love a bit of ET. Go down there. This is where I've got to be a bit more smart. Ant Man. Quite enjoyed the Marvel Legends actually. So some good figure lines in that run. A v. I remember I picked this up, New York Comic Con uh, 2018. And guys, geez. I can't recommend high enough. If you're going to go to New York, try and go in October uh, once New York Comic Cons as well and definitely get a ticket. Even if you just get a Sunday ticket, definitely go there. Uh, it's not just all comics and celebrities. There's loads of toy stalls as well. Uh, and the store where this was, obviously I couldn't bring back too much. So I brought this and I brought back, which is down here, a super, is it, what is it? Superpowers, dark side as well. Uh, and I think I brought back loads of comics because obviously I like my comics. But the guy, they had diner riders, food fires, they had everything there. And it wasn't badly priced. So I think at the time, I think I paid, I think this was $80 uh, at the time. And a pound was still quite strong when I was over there. But yeah, I always wanted one of these. I loved the TV show. And so yeah, picked that up when I was out there. It's one of those toys that I never had as a child either. Uh, oh, a little big head footballer, Glenn Hoddle. Interesting. And again, guys, you just see they're random. This. Obviously, I think everyone knows the story about this boggling now. So I picked this up from a charity shop. It was £2.50. Uh, it hasn't got the top display, but it's this little guy with his little lobster claw that still works. But yeah, £2.50. I didn't really know at the time how much of a steal this was and that it's quite a rare, desirable boggling to get hold of. Uh, but yeah, for £2.50, couldn't go wrong. And that was in Scope in Alpington. So yeah, really happy with that. Got some more charity shop ones at the back here as well. So yeah, I had to pick up Fry. If you're going to pick up Bender, you got to have Fry, haven't you? So yeah, picked up Fry. Really enjoyed the Kick-Ass movie, so I have to have Kick-Ass. And like the fact, I do like anything that really that Necker brings out, so I picked that up. This was a charity shop buy. This was £5 from a St. Christopher's. Again, a couple of years back. I believe it's the one from the... Oh, I believe it's the one from 2010. There you go. So it's not as vintage as what I thought it was. Uh... But yeah, for five pounds, you can't go wrong. Brings back a little bit of old school retro. All right, yeah. like we said, got to bring this along for the journey. Just give that a little wipe. I'm not going to use any polish, it sticks. 
just gonna let the dust fly around some most people are gonna say it's pointless exercise oh yeah and then let's look up here guys while we're up here so i can't i kind of just dump yeah these definitely need the dust i kind of dump things on the top shelf as in when i buy them and i buy anything that's pop culture uh related so yeah that would have come through the first issue of batman magazine this was a buy from so it is bent because it's been up there but i brought this from blockbusters this was like a pound back in the day i'm talking when this movie first came out so blockbusters back then believe it or not were well, my local one as well in catford at the time used to sell movie posters and memorabilia as well as just renting out there you go renting out movies and games so a couple more of the batmobiles here i've got loads of these in the loft absolutely loads of these i went for a phase of just picking them up i thought they were quite cool quite funky something different but yeah there's the original one from the tv show uh and then these are from sandown i remember picking these up so again anything pop culture related i was picking up so these are the candies that have come a little bit loose just need to put them back on now i'm not going to do that now but yeah still full of the candies as well but anything like that i'll push them over no i won't i'll leave them where they are and then the same with the flintstone sealed candy so i picked both of these up 10 pound this was the last sandown that they had i picked these up as well so you would have been going back was it the beginning of the year or the end of last year one of the two but that's when i picked them up uh quite a nice old man to be fair was uh, selling them he just wanted to get rid of them he had loads of them there uh, in a tub under the table so a lot of people when you're at sandown especially a lot of people tend not to look under the tables and just look at what's on the table i always tend to just go under the tables as well because there's usually quite a uh, number of decent bits and pieces that are there right that shelf is definitely bigger than that shelf uh but yeah we'll see how we go right so next another little big head footballer who's that absolutely no idea you can go down there gotta start dusting these now so i know this card got a bit bent as well i was gutted this got done in my loft uh when i moved from my mum's into my house it got damaged on the transport run i was gutted and i don't even know how i would bend that back without trying to snap it but yeah slimer and this was picked up like a lot of my stuff so we all have had shops we went to when we were kids and i used to go to bromley uh, and in bromley you had an absolute brilliant shop called time trick you used to sell loads of old pop culture bits and pieces new bits and pieces uh, kind of like what you'd want to see in a toy shop today if they were to open up but yeah need to get that sticker mark off there yeah that just come away now i can feel how hard that is but yeah had to pick up slimer out of all of them i think there's three of them to begin with yes yeah, so he had these three as well but and the uh, marshmallow man but i really wanted slimer you know that's the one i'm going to remember from the movies uh they are going back on that shelf actually because of how tall and uh, no actually he's staying up there you're staying there mate buffy got a huge huge buffy collection so i was a huge buffy and angel fan so i brought every single figure that come out even these little toy fair wizard exclusives the prototypes they brought out the gentlemen all the special the big statues i got everything of uh buffy and angel so i've got a few of them here and again a few of them in the loft you're going to stay at the front for the moment you guys would have seen little bruce lee just fitted in well with the neckers you're going at the back mate uh and then i picked up so this would have been at alpington toy fair again going back a few years ago a gentleman coming there he was selling model airplanes and cars etc and, and little railways weren't none of mine but he had a, another one he had like a little uh tray under the table and he had so i'll tell you what because most of them are mostly on this shelf or the shelf under he had about 10 necker toys so it was all the 300 it was the kill bills it was a duke nukem i think it was an edward from uh twilight oh there was some more he literally wanted 20 quid for the lot uh, all sealed but i don't know why they weren't as big as say so they've gone through a phase i think with necker where they go really really good everyone picks them up and then they go quiet for a little while then they just take off again like you've got with the horror stuff now uh and the retro computer games and movies but this stuff i don't know he had it sitting there and he just yeah he literally wanted 20 quid for the lot so i brought the whole lot i'm gonna try and get the whole lot together actually if they're still so these are all the kill bills here so yeah you would have had the kill bills and look i've got marks on them but they're not going to be hard to get off need a little brillo pad and just gently go over that and that come away uh, not that i'm going to do that today but yeah like you can see another one there i don't know if they're the whole it's the whole collection the bride oh yeah they will stay there they can stay there this one wasn't this was brought up by a london 
oh, it's come away a little bit there, but London Comic, is it Comic? London Film and Comic Mart, this was a uh, convention this was picked up. So again, I paid six pound for Ash because I remember paying a six pounds. I can't remember what else I brought. I only brought two things on the day because it's the first time I've gone to a convention outside of just a comic mark just to see what they were like and bloody hell there's some good things there a lot of computer games, a lot of everything but yeah i picked ash up ash is actually going to the front you know with slimer yeah don't worry about these 300 guys but you can stay there for a minute so another thing this was pick up forbidden forbidden planet had absolutely loads of these in toy beers yep toy beers they were 3.95 i should have brought more of them but to be fair i wasn't really buying stuff to shift on at the time it was literally i thought i didn't have anything lords of the ring this looked really cool so I picked this up. Uh, yeah, that's gonna stay there. Still looks like the same day I got it. A more, some more big head footballers. Who's that? Who's that? Gallagher. Kevin Gallagher, Steve McManaman. Winning, oh, Steve McManaman. Oh, here you go. It's another player. You stay there. Then, a film I absolutely love. Uh, pop clap, uh, Cold classic, maybe not, uh, but Monkey Bone. So Monkey Bone, Brandon Fraser. Brilliant, brilliant movie. You can see the characters here. I absolutely loved it. And I didn't know they had any Monkey Bone figures. I have got the whole lot. Where are you? You other two, you are hiding. But yes, I brought the whole collection. Literally, these were in at the time. So like you got your BM now. Years ago, we just have these little like pop-up, little market stalls that just have all vintage toys so like kenner's bone age uh some of the early x-men figures i mean not from the tv show these are like the first ever ones that toy biz would have brought out star wars episode one was huge in terms of getting loads of those in and then they'd get the odd things like this i picked the whole lot up so i, I really like monkey bone you will stay there another one from oh it's bent under orpington toy market toy fair so i brought the road warrior max this was a fiver i remember paying for this so whenever i go to those toy fairs in alpington they're very very small so i'm not think don't think when i'm showing you these guys and thinking oh my god they got loads of decent toys at cheap prices this is like 10 10 years worth of me going to those alpington toy fairs not when they're in the place they are now it used to be another place that's been going and it used to be an anti it used to be called an antique fair uh, but yeah, I've been going to these Alpington little markets for years and you just, every so often you'll find them, but they it is very much, I'm not even going to say hit and miss because it's more miss than it is hit. Uh, but when they're there, I do quite well. I will just pick up everything because you won't see them again. They, you're not going to see sellers there that just keep going back and forth. Uh, so once they've been to Alpington, they kind of don't take as much or it's not for them and they don't come again. So you won't necessarily see the stuff again. You'll have seen another Buffy there. Uh, Lord of the Rings you would have seen obviously I, I said that I never got any hence why I brought this one up when I saw it at a boot sale oh, I want to say she said eight pound I think I paid eight pound for it or six pound something like that but yeah that has to stay there because it's too big I uh, just hope I can get all these back on you all would oh whoa, whoa, whoa. so you all would have seen the Mighty Max nerd base 45 pounds absolute bargain absolute bargain these things are just crazy. They demand crazy money now. Everyone's trying to pick them up. It's mostly really good condition as well in terms of the card. It is a little bit bent, as you can see, but that will definitely bend back in if I can get some weights on that. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's staying back on that shelf because of the size. Uh, Sandown would have been the Mario figures. They would have been a five for each with the Simpsons hook. These are like your toy lines that... The guys, when you're at Sandown Toy Fair, they don't believe... So there's a store that sells all these kind of toys and they don't believe they're desirable or they demand the high money. So they knock them out anywhere from £5 to £10. And I say that because the prices change on these kind of figures every time I'm there. So if I look at Nelson, for instance, and I've got most of the Simpson ones up on this top shelf up here. But Nelson was a fiver. And I went back the second time, like to the Sandown the next time, like a few months later, he was an £8 figure. So And then the time after that, he went back down to a fiver. So they... It's just hit and miss with the prices. Uh, but yeah, I've got mostly all these Simpson figures now. He can't go in there either. Luigi. I really need... I, this was I, the one set I was thinking about completing because this was this was near enough the last toy line officially I had as a child before I didn't buy for a little while. So I remember I had the little... Uh, 
not with this guy, I come with another one of this, and it was like you put the use on top of him, the fungus, and then I had the police car, and the police car is a brilliant, brilliant vehicle. Uh, and again, I tried to look at buying it, and Jesus, it demands big money. This was one of my last buys out of time trick before it closed down uh, in Bromley. So this is one, like I said about that market store, when I was a kid, you used to go to the market stores and pick up toys. I, my mum brought me the whole of the Bone Age collection. So we used to go back there all the time, get the dinosaurs, the little figures, and then obviously got rid of them as a kid. Uh, but I never saw any of these again. And just for the love of me, I saw it in time trip and said, how much? And I think he, because he, well, he's his sister at the time, because uh, sadly the gentleman passed away in the shop. But I think she only wanted £3 for it, and it was in this little bag, because she just thought it was like a cheap toy, uh, which it mostly was at the time, to be fair. But absolutely loved that figure line. So that stays there. Oh, here you go. Here's the man at the moment. Don't even know why I picked him up with this Necker collection. So this is part of the collection that I brought when I went to that Orpington toy fair. Uh, so I'm expecting to find some more. I'll leave him there for a minute. Guys, if you have a, if you love your computer games or you haven't played computer games for a while and I can recommend you to play one game, my favourite game and the only reason I still play computer games and, and I go back to this game every single time I turn my computer on, Left 4 Dead, but Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, absolutely brilliant. What a brilliant game. You can play it online and it's just, you've got untold amount of zombies and there's different kind of campaigns, campaigns you can do. There's a survival mode. Uh, where you just you got to go and press a buzzer and unlimited amount of dead come after you and it's just about how long you can survive on the clock um, and it is a four, four player game but the, if you only are one player the other three players are kind of are controlled by the computer and it's not crap where they just go off and die it's intelligent play by the computer so they try and you know go the same place you go but they do their own thing and they're just more strategic in terms of what they do uh yeah really good game and guys move, moving on to that as well so i'm gonna put the boomer at the back the smoker as well so they only ever brought out two toy lines for this i was gutted because i really really wanted some of the characters especially like coach uh i really wanted some of the ca playable actual characters to uh be made into figures but they just stopped after those two and i know they brought out a huge tank uh, which is one of the main zombies you've got to stop, a tank. They brought a massive statue, and I tried so hard to get it through Forbidden Planet ever. I just couldn't get it. This is another one from Alpington Toy Fairs that would have been picked up in that NECA collection. So it was Duke Nukem. So I picked up Mr. Nukem. Uh, yeah, I'd never seen it before. I just thought he looked really, really cool, and because of my love of computer games, so he's now going back to the front. You know, this was a £20 buy. It's funny I remember all the prices that I pay, and I, I don't pay too much for my toys, and people say sometimes you're being a little bit cheap. Uh, but, yeah, £20 for the Alien. This is the first time I ever went to Sandown Toy Fair. I picked this up. I remember that because my brother picked up Dusty Rhodes uh, from the Hasbro wrestling line for 40 at the time, loose. Uh, and we were really concerned that we weren't too sure if it was a good deal because his arm is really loose. And apparently that's a common factor in a lot of those Dusty Rhodes toys. Uh, so yes, right, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, these just would have been what I would have picked up from, uh, uh, where would I have got these from? Like Toys R Us at the time. So because of Iron Man and it, they were, you know, when you used to go into Toys R Us, they'd have certain days they're just clearing out a little bit like your entertainer now or Swipes where they just clear out toy lines. I think these were like £3.95, some odd pricing. But I wanted Iron Man, I wanted War Machine, so I picked these two up. Uh, and I went in there the other day to be fair into the entertainer just for lockdown and that so many WWF the elites that they're trying to shift through at small prices again I would have picked up spider-man because of the same thing So it would have been that they were just discontinuing the line and they would just knock down the price of the toys Here's the rest of those neckers that I would have picked up from the Alpington that I talked about for 20 so and guys these were in really rough shape i'm not going to say like they were decent look you can see the thing was like punched in but for 20 quid uh i'll pick them all up i'll put some decent ones in the front i'll change it around a bit so yeah i'm guessing i don't know i'm oh yeah i have i've got the whole of the first set then i believe yeah so i must have the whole of the first set because i've got them here series one but yeah, they must be worth, and you can see there, look how it's got the hole in it. That doesn't come with a hole. That's a bit battered there. But yeah, tw so I paid 20 quid for the 300, Junk Nukem, and the Kill Bills. I thought there was another one. I thought there was a Robocop as well, but I don't know if there was a Necker Robocop. Uh, but yeah, 20 quid. So I was happy with that. I thought that's a steal. 
Uh, oh, no, I want to try and get all three of them together. It's never the way, no, nothing ever works out how you want it to, but we always get there in the end. Uh, I feel like Max needs to be at the front as well, but for the moment, that's going to stay there. A cool dude can stay there. You can stay there for the minute. Done that shelf right. Star Wars, these were reduced to clear as well. I've got a reduced to clear policy, and I where I've just picking up reduced to clear toys. These were in Forbidden Planet. They were literally, I want to say four quid. And I just picked up what I thought made a set uh, and all that they had left at the time. So they had Obi-Wan, Kenobi, the Spirit, Yoda, and then Luke Skywalker, which I believe Yoda would have went on his back. Oh, there's some more of them as well. I should have got R2-D2, but didn't see R2 there. But yeah, like that. They're... Oh, they can go up here, actually, because they're a bit smaller. Who shall we have at the front? Luke or Yoda or Obi? Oh, mate, what a decision. It's got to be Obi, in it? Right, let's do that. You might not even get to the front, but let's give that a go. Right. This was a buy of a century. Uh, this was at Sandown. A f an elderly couple it was about three pound fifty uh, i was shocked because it is sealed and they literally only wanted three pound fifty they were just like they thought they were charging me too much i think i might have told this story before uh, i've got all of them loose i don't have any of the vehicles but yeah to find one in the packaging i absolutely love this movie this is 90s all over yes yeah, so i know you've got a new home where you're not gonna i'm not gonna keep hitting you with the back of the chair Alien eggs, I got these from Forbidden Planet. I pre-ordered these. Uh, I would have paid full price, whatever they were. Absolutely brilliant in the way they've marketed these. So little caged free eggs, but inside the eggs are alien eggs, and some of them have got the tops off and you get little aliens inside. I've never opened these. I'm not going to open them. Look when it expires, so I don't need to open them. They don't expire till 21, 22. Uh, yeah, you're going to go up here because I absolutely... I thought that was class bit of marketing. Uh... Bob Fett, that was a 50p in the charity shop this year. Uh, so I put him in there for no reason. I already have him and he's just going in there. Same with Hulk Hogan. Found this one in the charity shop, so I just put him in. This is a box for cards. I just locked him in there, so he's in there forever. He's never coming out. Uh, so you can stay there for the minute. This is the other New York Comic Con piece that I picked up. I think I paid $40 for Dark Side. Comes in this plastic case. You know, I you rarely see these in the UK. And Dark Side, if not, is one of the my all-time favourite bad guys from the DC world. Uh, so I had to pick that up. Uh, don't even know why I'm dusting it, but what you might stay at the front, my friend. Uh, and again, some of these would be like boot sale finds now. Sinister would have been found at a boot sale. Would have been a couple of quid and wouldn't have paid much for him. Uh, go there. Who doesn't love the old X-Men cartoons? These, there's a funny story about the Avenger one. So all my Avengers, so I picked up the whole Avenger set. These were picked up at London, Super London Comic Mark, uh, which isn't a thing anymore. But I picked all these up from a Forbidden Planet store, which is funny because Forbidden Planet, they charge you full price for all this kind of toys. When you go to the conventions, most of the stuff they got at conventions, they're knocking them at half the price they charge in the shops. So I picked up this, and you might not be able to see it at the back, and you won't be able to. I got the Hella Carrier at the back, uh, which is the six foot one, with these, uh, the Avengers, for about £40. I think I paid for those at the time. So yeah, I'm happy with those. You're standing down there with your little buddies. Uh, oh, this was a boot sale find because it's battered, absolutely battered. Uh, and I've never got around to trying to fix it. I think it look, look, even looks like there's a bit of sellotape at the bottom. But this this was literally peanuts. This was mostly goes back years ago for one of the first boot sales I would have gone to as well. 2002. Uh, so yeah, I only paid a couple of quid. But it's because it was Iron Man. Uh, series 1, not too sure what that means. But yeah, a couple of quid. I need to give it a clean up. Don't worry about the dust. The dust can get cleaned up. But I just need to try and push this back out. Uh, it may snap, but yeah, a couple of quid. Actually might look good at the front, but I don't, just don't think you can get it to stand. Unless some of his buddies want to help him out and stand. Oh, I'm not taking a risk with that. 
mate you're being made redundant again even with your nice colors you've been made redundant to the back no michael no jumping not in here not on my watch leave you there for a minute because you are right this was what i was telling you about the alpenton uh, antique fair so look it has started to come away but i'm not i'm not going to reseal him i'm going to leave him one pound fifty uh and you gotta say this is back in the 90s so i was wondering have i overspent they had this one there for one pound fifty and they also had another one for one pound fifty which i didn't pick up which was ed duck from the ace duck sorry it was ace duck from the first one uh but i picked this guy up oh, he's gonna come apart if i try and move him too much so don't i just don't want it to you're all right there donny you're doing well it would have been another legend i would have picked up from a car boot sale Punisher, Series 6, completely big. It looks like the Punisher out of the movie, actually, uh, which is odd enough, because I don't even know that movie come out then. But yeah, it's just, I literally picked this up due to the weapons and the fact that I love the Punisher. You know, I've got still got the comic of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129. Uh, yeah, you're going to go to the front, you know, with Duke, because you two be an absolute bad ass kind of tag team. So you two are staying together. And you know what? Dark Side's coming over with you two as well. Oh, look how much toys I've still got to put on there and I'm not even making the bloody... This is the only thing. You take everything off. Look, I've got to put it back on. Gonna have to leave that empty. Right, Rick. This is a and m job. However much they were, were they £10? Didn't want them all. Only wanted Rick. Because uh, I have all the Rick cartoon. Here you go. Another Rick over here. I've got the original one as well. I'll try and buy all the Rick from the uh, comic series. Because I do have the complete comic run of Walking Dead. I was one of the people that went in and brought it when it first came out and really enjoyed it. Not too sure what the value is now, but they used to go for crazy money. Because there wasn't a lot of them printed. This would have been from the movie release, Head Knockout from Spider-Man. Uh, I've always had that. I've had that since I lived at my mum's. This was a charity shop buy. I, did, I weren't too sure what heavy metal was before because uh, I briefly read the magazines when I was growing up and I remember the movie uh, the movie was fantastic weren't too sure about the figure though I can't remember the figure so yeah I saw this in the charity shop they wanted three quid I picked that up all day with anything comic related I have got room in the back there but it may mean that Slimer has to go behind Slimer's going to make the sacrifice for Ash which I think is a good sacrifice. The bride can stay for the minute. Ah, we we'll have to find the home for you in a minute. And then these, yeah, I didn't pay much. I brought all of these off a of one stall holder at Hayes Bromley Boot Sale. Uh, you would have seen that Tom Bizarro's piece has done really well there a couple of months ago now. I think it was just before lockdown, wasn't it? Uh, where he picked up quite a few as well. But yeah, it's a really good boot sale there at Hayes. Uh, I always do quite well for now. I know some people it is hit and miss because uh, you have got a lot of resellers and people getting into toys now, but I always do pretty well because of the fast amount of different bits and pieces around pop culture that I like. I'm going to put Weapon X to the front. The dinosaurs have to go at the back for the simple reason is they just don't stand, uh, which is going... Yeah, I don't really want to do that and break them. Right, let's do a little bit of bending in the toy sense. Did I even do that shelf? I don't think I did. But look how better it's looking already. Oh, it's nothing like having a good... So, Funko Pops. Some people love them, some people hate them. I don't mind them, to be fair. They bring out some good characters. You know, it's the only time, apart from I have got on pre-order actually, so I've got gigawatts on pre-order and I've got the creep from NECA, which I still haven't got. I need to chase that up. But yeah, anything creep show, come on. If you've not watched, no, you've all watched creep show. I'm not even gonna take it that you haven't. Come on, why would you not buy the creep? So he's definitely staying on the shelf because that is one of my all time favorite horrors. This would have been a forbidden planet reduced to clear the Nova core spaceship you are going at the back oh no you uh so we all know what they are stay there for a minute little uh muscle men 
Manta Force. So I'm after the big, big spaceships. However, I am going to have to do with the little Manta Force. So, why we got this big shelf? I need to start making some decisions about what the hell is going back on here. Oh, that is perfect. <sighs> Can I get you up there, Donny? Oh, Donny, you just doing it for me today, mate. I think you've got to have a graded Donny. Not really too fussed about. Oh, uh, right, stay there for a the minute. You're gonna go there. Bender, you're going down with your boy. You two are staying together. Jurassic Park. Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Ellie, why don't you stand? Gonna have to go behind Fry now. Oh, that's where he went. No, I think we were gonna give you a little bit of a show off. Right. Luigi, you're gonna definitely gonna have to go behind me because I know you give me problems with a standing. Right. Oh, mate, this is where it always gets a little bit baffling in terms of how this is oh, how do we put stuff back? How do we solve a problem like putting toys back on the shelf? Alright, let's get them back on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that good. Excellent. Right. I think we can put you there, Manta Force. Just to keep Ellie company. Right. Big head footballers. Oh, killing me, mate. Absolutely killing me. <sighs> deep breathing. Deep breathing. All right, Alien. And Mighty Max. I think we're going to backseat you, boy. Oh, no. How can I backseat Mighty Max? Oh, man. But I have... Oh. I've had him at the front for a while. And I'm going crazy because I'm talking to myself as well. This is not... Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yes. Stay. Do not drop. Sorry, Spidey. I wanted to give you a better place, but you're going to have to go to the back, mate. No one likes a bobblehead. Oh, yes. So I'm thinking... You may stop it from thingy, but I've got an even better idea. The muscle men are gonna come in handy. I'm liking that shelf. That shelf is looking good. Sorry, Spidey, you're... I'm saying you're going to the back, but you are going to the back. Donnie's going there. Oh, matey, matey. He has to go back on that shelf just for pure size. You little guys <sighs> can go on top of the Nova Core. Oh no, Big Tech. Where are you going, mate? Big Track. What? Sorry, where are you going? Oh, this is it. This is how it gets a bit crazy. Right, guys, let's just stop this. I'm going to crack on with this, then I'm going to put it all back on. So, I've lost my duster in the process. All right. Oh, mate, I had ambitions for you to go up there. Star Wars, absolute loads of these. All these ones on this shelf are my doubles. Uh, but I haven't got the, I haven't got it in me to sell them yet. American Gladiators, that was a boot sale find. I picked up quite a lot of the whole collection. You can stay there for a the minute. But yeah, Star Wars, so you got C3PO, Darth Vader. These are all doubles. I just haven't got around to doing anything with them. You got Obi-Wan and they're all Attack of the Clones. The second, Movie, but yeah, Obi again, Mace, Jango, Jango Fett, Jango Fett, another Obi, another Anakin, another Anakin. So they're triples. These are all the ones that I know I've I've got because I put them there for the simple reason is if I ever get to sell them, these were a boot sale find. These were like fifty p each. They're absolutely battered, but. Just love the covers. We did have the Emperor. Where's he gone? What? How, how can we have a cover with no toy in it? And then you've got Jabba. Come from Time Trek. All right. Absolutely no idea where that's gone. But yeah, let's put these back. 
Luke can go at the front. These guys are going over here. Push. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, matey. Right. Let's go. Oh, what a palaver. I come up here to do good. Right. Let's go through what we've got here. Hook. These would have been sand down. Again, this is what I was telling you guys about. Where they price them anywhere from £5 to £10. I picked up a load today. would have been like £5 each. I do try and haggle as well. So I would have gone for a better price for all of them. Uh, with the Simpsons, etc. My gaming kind of obsession. Love Mario Kart. Had the opportunity to pick this up quite quick. Uh, cheaply so toy Biz, they brought out loads of kind of video games related toys they brought out resident evil the ones i'm really after so i don't mind the mario kart don't get me wrong and i do like donkey kong it's a heavy toy but i really really want the marvel first capcom they brought out the toys and marvel first street fighter which i really need to pick up uh do those ones at the end this would have been alpington toy fair only a couple of quid don't think it was a desirable line uh Prince of Persia, but I absolutely loved the movie, so I picked up the toy. This would have been from the boot sale. Again, it would have been a couple of quid. But it's got like, oh, it's got a, it's got a newer turtle in there. Now, I want to say new from the 90s, and then the actual parachutes in there. Quite cool. Still had the box I picked up. Look, it's tried to make an escape. Out of the side here, get back in. Uh, get back in there. All right. So yeah, would have picked that up. And then these all got picked up from a, a boot sale, which, oh no, Jesus didn't. Jesus was a gift for Christmas, which just happened to end up in the toys. But I brought up, brought all these first appearance kind of, it was when Marvel went for a stage of having first appearance of female characters. She had like the AX, which was the first Ant-Man's daughter. You had Captain America, Miss Captain America. You had, Wild, was it Wildcat or something? Like it was supposed to be something to do with Wolverine. And then Spider Woman, which is here. I bet they're all on the back, ain't they? Wild thing. American Dream Stinger. There you go. But they're all like future uh, takes on the Marvel characters from a female point of view. So, yeah, some good figures. Picked them all up. Kind of 90s pop culture pieces. This was given to me because people know I loved action figures. This is a good couple of years ago. This was gotten out of Man, man Thing. Mankind, is it? The little shop which sells all the gadgets and gizmos. Uh, so yeah, someone brought this for me as a gift and said, look, you need, if you're going to have an action figure, you need an action figure of Jesus to go on your shelf. So I just put him up there. Oh, wow, he's got loads of quotes as well. But yeah, so he stays there. This was brought out a time trick. Techie. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this was one of the first figures I would have got because uh, I brought this along with the uh, IKEA motorcycle and figure uh, i had ambitions to complete this whole set this is the mcfarlane isn't it yep i swear this is mcfarlane yeah mcfarlane toys so yeah i had ambition to complete this whole set oh, it's very dusty down here so get this off but because of the size of him he has to go to the back i don't want to break him uh, again from time trick absolutely grew up so when i'm getting into my teens you know everyone loves a horror movie scream was that horror movie of you know, classic 90s, early 2000s, I would have thought. Uh, so I had to pick up Ghostface. And again, he's quite a heavy figure, but yeah, I absolutely love that. So yeah, he goes at the back. Wouldn't mind him at the front, actually, you know, I actually like that figure. But yeah, one of my all time favorite movies, I absolutely love, uh, that's just a cup. I absolutely love Dark Man. Liam Nielsen, I absolutely love Dark Man. So when I saw this, I picked it up. And again, I wanted to complete the set of this. I think there's only three. There was America, uh, the Toxic Crusader, American Werewolf in London. But yeah, look at that figure. That figure is brilliant. Oh, Series 2 was coming as well. I don't even know if this ever got released. Right, I'm going to search this out. Because I wouldn't mind Killer Clowns out of, from Outer Space or The Mummy Returns and Jeepers Creepers as well. All right, I'm going to do some digging on this toy line. Yep. So guys, let me take off this headset. Go back. Oh, I'm gonna have marks on my head, no doubt. But yeah. So that is it from Scott's Comics and Collectibles for this kind of bookshelf. Hope you enjoyed the video. Something completely a bit different. We are still in lockdown. It's as boring as hell. Uh, but I know I understand why we've got to do it, and I will continue to do it. So we have got another two bookshelves to go. We've got this one all the way out, and that's got some signed 
uh, figures on there as well. And then the last one, as you can see, I've got to try and get through that. I've got to try and get through all that. <gasps> <sighs> but we will get there. We will find a way. So this is the first bookshelf officially done. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, oh, please put your thoughts, views in the comments below. Uh, I always come back to you guys anyway. So yeah, definitely just hit me up in there. But yeah, now I'm going to leave you guys because I've got to figure out a way to get all these back on the shelf. <sighs> so till next time, take care, stay safe. Done and dusted. Do, do, do. I have literally changed it all around. It's looking a lot better. Oh, let's get out of the way of this light. Da, 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 a little bit dark down there. But yes, look at that. I've got a challenge. Oh, oh. Anyway, first one down.